Hello, we're getting started in a few minutes. Hi, Janet. Hi, Sarah. I don't know if you're listening, but hopefully you can hear me. I'm going to be probably working on this. Janet, you here? Um, yeah. Hi. Yes, you are, and you can hear me too. So yeah, good, good, good. Go here. Welcome, welcome to the Magical Group website review. Um, I'm going to do a short presentation to kind of show you this new paradigm for marketing that I'm using and. Um, kind of some steps to attract your soul tribe online. And then we're gonna start reviewing the sites. So thanks for showing up and I'm gonna get rolling. I'm gonna start sharing my screen. Hold on a second. Okay. And I'm gonna shrink this. All right, so welcome to the Magical Group website review. Um, I'm excited to look at your website and offer my insights. And some people here are probably not even showing their website, just like to see what I'm saying, what's working and what's not working about websites. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Julia Steggy. I'm the Magical Marketer and I'm here to help you express your purpose through your marketing and attract your true soul tribe. So over the last 18 years or so, I've created hundreds of websites, attracted tens of thousands of people online, made a bunch of sales, just by being myself. So I've had a successful six-figure business as an artist for a long time and I do it all authentically without really selling my soul. So let me just kind of review some of what I'll be looking for when I'm reviewing sites. Um, one is what is your actual website plan? Like is there a funnel? This is an example of a funnel where you have some kind of free download and then a webinar and then a program and then maybe some other services. Um, this example is pretty much a standard funnel, you know, from my own website. Does that make sense? Freebie goes into some kind of a training, goes into maybe a paid group training and then higher end services, something like that. You could also do something like a freebie into a, some kind of a free training into a private consultation with you that leads to your services. So also something that I'm gonna be looking at is what your imagery that you use says about you. This is visual communication and I say it's a secret way to intuitively attract your soul clients, people who are aligned with you on a soul level. Most people don't even talk about visual communication, but how uh, you look, if you show up to a networking event, you're gonna consider how you look. You're not gonna come in like sweatpants or something or looking like you haven't showered in a while. You're going to make sure that you look nice. Well, the website should do the same, but not just look nice, it should say something about you so that when people come to your site, they feel like they know you. And I'm gonna give you, show you some examples of some befores and afters so that you can see the transformation that um, is my intention to do whenever I'm working with somebody. Um, this is Michelle Petacolis. Uh, and 
her bef her website didn't really reveal her before and then after now it surely does it reveals her on a very soulful level and um she says it's even helped her live more authentically since we did this she's more willing to show who she really is and she increased her sales by 600 percent on her website too so that's always a good result uh this is carrie dinow who doubled her practice from she was a marriage family therapist and then you know we we went inside of her to express what's authentic for her so we'll be talking about that today are you sharing yourself really authentically and in a unique way that would attract your tribe this is Rich Gurman, and he's a, an ocean uh, preservation activist. And his website was really too mainstream and boring for him as a coach. And so we needed to upgrade it to be more him. So more of his like artistic flair and more of what he's really about. So now he can be proud, proud to show up online. Uh, this is Barbara. Robbins who is doing a pretty good job doing her own website and her own graphic design but when we created an entire brand um, it really up leveled her quite a lot and um, helped her to step into a, a bigger uh, it's, uh, expression of her soul this is one of my favorites because this is uh, Robert who is really typical of clients that I have who have a multiple modalities that have been brought together in a unique way to create an amazing result. But often what happens is that the message is cluttered. So this is also something that I'll be looking for when I'm looking at everyone's site. Is your message on target or is it sort of cluttered? Like this has just got so much type, so much text about things that no one understands. What is neurontogenetics? I mean, what? And um, there's just a lot in there about all the different things that could be going on, but very difficult to get to the point. And so with the combination of messaging and visual communication, we were able to express it in just a banner, trauma to tranquility. That's what it's about. If you're in trauma and you want to get to tranquility fast, now you you know now you know right away what it's about. You know that there's it comes from the heart. You know that there's something about balance. There's a bit of spirituality and some science involved, and you know that just by looking at it. So is your message clear? So perhaps you've been struggling with your message or your website or you've been afraid to show your website. So that's what we're doing today is we really want to get you to a place where your website is something that you can be proud of and beautiful, well-organized and cohesive, but also attracting new clients. Uh, this is Ann Baker who attracted 100 new opt-ins, seven new clients, and a bunch of new visitors all in one month from launching her new site. So you can get great results. So what's up with your site, right? No visitors, no opt-ins, no calls, no response, or no clue. What is it? So we're going to go through, I'm here to save the day or at least review your site. <laughs> so I'm not great at time management. I'm going to try to take about five minutes or so. Well, we had a bunch of sites, so it depends on who showed up, who gets to go first. Um, but five, ten minutes each to answer these questions okay and I'm going to keep this over to the side so that I can see this but like do you know who you're talking to do you know what to say are you compelling them to interact with you does your website copy engage and inspire action does your visual brand represent your true brilliance do you know how to help your soul tribe find you have you found the right help so let me end this little show here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop share for a sec. Um, I'm going to talk to who's here on video first. And um, 
make sure that I am looking at your um, website and your questions at the same time. So hold on a second. Um, so I have all the websites up and what I need to do is look at all the names. So Steed, okay, Blue, let's see, Steed, your website is steedbarber.com. You're gonna be first. So I am going to unmute you. Hello, can you hear me? I can, can hear, I hear you. you. Okay, great. Um, and let's take a peek at your site. So I'm going to share. Um, so you have something that you're calling soul art. Be very beautiful. So when you, do you want to tell us about um, your site and what your goals are? I'm in transition right now. I'm a fine artist um, mm -hmm. working oils, and I have two bodies of work. The landscape, which is up here now, oh good, it's going to start going through. And uh -huh. I also have something that's just intuitive art. It's inner landscapes. This would be one of those. Uh huh. Um, and I'm I'm just I feel like I'm stepping into something new, and I don't even know exactly what it is yet. That mm -hmm. painting sort of represents it, <laughs> mm. but. Um, I've also been ill. I was ill for a few years and I haven't been doing any, very little marketing. Some of my newsletter, one retreat, but very little. So I'm, I'm looking at how, how can I, and, and even should I, um, share my transformational process in a way that would invite people, bring them along with me, um, when I don't even know where I'm headed yet. Well, so what do you feel like are you doing are you selling artwork or are you selling programs it's i believe it's going to be some sort of a mixture mm -hmm. but definitely selling artwork is very important to me and then i'm i'm really passionate about creativity i am an art teacher and i'm passionate about people's creativity mm. and and honoring that and and nurturing that in our daily life. Okay. So right now I think I'm all kind of all over the board because that is where I'm at. I don't I'm not in focus yet. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Well, so like let's just look first. There's some things. Um let's see. I'm not I'm not looking at my normal, but this is pretty much it resizes for a smaller screen, right? Mm -hmm. So it's mobile ready. Yes, it is. Okay, so that's one of the first things that I check because a lot of sites, the these older sites, you know, they're not. Right. Um, you know, the thing is that when you're an artist, mostly people want to see your art or they want to see your process or both right mm -hmm. so um are you using other or social media or is it pretty much everyone just coming to your site no i've used i do facebook quite a bit um and i beginning instagram mm -hmm. and are you just posting one-offs are you doing lives I've done some lives. I did a retreat in the fall and I did a series of lives leading up to that on Facebook. Uh-huh. And how did that work for you? Um, it was, I love the learning curve. I wouldn't say, it seems like everything I did brought one person in. <laughs> you mean the whole thing or each time you did something, it brought one person? No, like the whole, the Facebook live approach brought one person in, you know, the different types of marketing I did each brought one person in. It was, mm -hmm very minimal response but it may have matched my energy probably right right probably right yeah yeah well um 
so what really do you feel like calls to you to do? The most important thing right now is really to, to paint, to just dive deep, deep into my own work. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I have to say, I have this drive to share also, um, without, and that's where my quandary is now. Like, how do I share right now? You know what I mean? And I, I do need income, but I don't want to stifle what's coming forward from spirit by trying to put it in a box too quickly. Well, you don't need to. I mean, um, I don't think you ever need to, just by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have a new program I'm doing called Marketing from the Soul, which is all about clearing the mind, doing everything, you know, being mindful and then allowing intuition to come through and really painting is part of you know that process for me too where it's like I, when i'm painting i'm pretty much painting from nothing you know often yeah um or perhaps i was inspired by an image but it never really ends up looking like the image that i'm using as source um it's just um you know some inspiration um and so what, what I feel like is, uh, you know, and I generally will recommend to people, no matter what they're doing, is do what you love to do and then leverage that through your marketing. So for instance, um, say you're creating a new painting, well, just set up your phone or a little video camera or something, or, you know, your laptop or something, and do little lives, just do them regularly, do them every day. Oh, okay. And just do lives and then tell them where they can buy your paintings. And mm -hmm. that, you know, and you can even talk while you're painting. So, um, and then the more people that you get uh, following you as a person, for instance, on Facebook, um, even though they, do, they don't like you doing things that where you're charging, they are okay with you um, like doing Facebook lives where you're painting and just telling them to go to your website or telling them to contact you. So that's something you can do. Just what you do is you just start doing that a lot. Okay. Do it every day when you're painting. So now you're marketing and painting at the same time. Make sense? So easy. Yes. <laughs> Right. And it's like people will ask you questions. So they'll say, oh, what, what are you using? You know, uh, oh, was that oils? Oh, you know, or, and you can just be telling them, look, I have this, uh, I have originals. Do you do G clays as well? Yes, I do. So you can say, you know, I have originals and prints available at, steedbarber.com go check it out meanwhile i'm working on this hillside over here you know mm -hmm. and you don't have to talk a lot you can have music running in the background um you know it's just um you can try do you have a facebook um page i do yes so you can try doing it from there and try doing it from your personal and just see which ones are more uh, responsive. You can try similar things on Instagram. I have found that I get like crickets on Instagram <laughs> where I've got like hundreds of people saying they like my paintings on Facebook. So mm -hmm. for me, you know, I've been trying, I even took a course on building my Instagram and it, just, and it shrank in numbers. Yeah. So I, I don't know what's going on with Instagram, but I can't grow that thing worth nothing. And yet I can't stop people from following me and trying to be my friend on Facebook. I have too many. I have 5,000 already. So I'm always like having to unfriend. So, but then again, my teacher has 40,000 followers on Instagram and doesn't even really use Facebook. So um, I think it's just a matter of luck when you started and what kind of paintings you have and whether people like it. But I'll tell you this, whether it's Facebook or Instagram, what I notice is that the, what really people like is when you're painting. Okay. And they, 
that will attract other artists, but it will also attract um, potential buyers. How do they find you? You just do the Facebook and- Well, that's the brilliance about Facebook is um, Facebook, like your page will actually show um, people that you don't, that aren't even, you know, that you're not even following, that aren't even following you. Okay. So um, that's what I'm saying, you know, try it off of your page, see how that does try it off of your private and see how that does. You can't really tell as much in terms of the, I think you can, I think that no matter what, they'll tell you how many people have seen it. Okay. The page will give you more stats. Great, okay. And really beautiful work. Thank you. Are you really getting $7,500 for a painting? In the past, it's been a long, you know, I'm out of that market right now and I, I don't know how to get started again. Mm -hmm. Was that just on your own that you sold those or did you do it in through galleries? That was when I was living in LA and I was part of a really big community mm -hmm. um, of, that it had a lot of wealthy people in it. Do you know Aaron Hansen? I know that name, but. He's a painter from down there. I just was wondering. Um, Anyway, she's selling them for twenty thousand. So just, just curious, just curious. No, I know. <laughs> selling for a hundred thousand. You know. It's oh like, yeah, yeah. I, and well, I am more interested in that. I have a big sense with this, without being greedy. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like there's a bigness that I can feel. I'm just finding my way into it. So yeah. Well, just keep filling your way into that. That's part of it. You know, don't let that go. Don't be convinced by other people don't know anything that you can't do it. Exactly. Yeah. Thank really you. nice, Steve. Thanks a lot for coming. I hope this is helpful. It is. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. But I don't, I don't see that you need to do much to the website. You know, oh, one thing I would say, I didn't say, you sign up for my newsletter ain't good enough. You're going to want a freebie. Uh, yeah. Like um, what most artists will say is, um, is even just like screens, mm -hmm. background screens for phone and desktop. So I would say like different sizes. So they would opt in and they would get one for their phone, you know, or they get three for their phone. You know, I don't know how many you want to give away, but say if you had three different images, one for the phone, one for tablet, one for desktop. Okay. And that's way you'll, you'll be able to grow your list and, um, then you're going to want to start strategizing some other marketing, like what you can do to communicate with your people. And it might just be, Hey, I'm going to go look, painting live to Monday at 11. Come, you know, follow my Facebook page and um, see me paint. Especially since you are uh, an art teacher and, and inviting people to workshops and retreats. All right. I can't wait to see what you do. Hey, thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's see. Who do we have next? Now, Sarah, I didn't see you having um, submitted a website, did you? You've been here all day. Wait, let me unmute you. Hi. Hi, I really saw nice that you were you. here all day and uh, <laughs> like, oh my gosh, yes. I just noticed I, that it was like almost uh, noon where it said, Sarah Reynolds has been waiting in your room since 1045. <laughs> I'll tell you why. It's because I'm in Europe and I wasn't sure of the time oh, difference. Oh, the time so zone. Been, well, here's yeah. a little extra wand, magical wand for you for having waited so long. But I figure you waited so long. I don't see that you submitted a I, website. Though. I didn't submit my website. Um, I do have a website. You didn't really want me to look at it. Um, I just imagined that there would be a lot more people who would be a lot more keen but um i'm more than happy to give well, you my address pretty, if you want you know, to look so what i had said was if you show up with your video on you get to go first and just so happens you showed up like hours <laughs> early. if you want us to look at your site that um yes i'd be delighted thank we, you we could do that so would be wonderful so what do you, <laughs> can i message you the address or shall i just tell you um why don't you put it in the group chat and if i put it in the group chat thank you that's so kind um okay 
It's healing <laughs> Phoenix. Hi, Lorna. .co Lorna wants a little extra wand action. Okay. <laughs> There, I've just sent it. It's okay, healingphoenix.co.uk. So okay, so what I'm going to do yeah. is I'm going to share again my screen. So, what's your goal? Um, I'm just starting wow. out working. I'm, it's my long 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 time dream is to have a healing business and I'm just starting now kind of moving out of teaching and trying to set up a website and trying to find wow well you got people. a bunch of uh, testimonials for somebody new six nine <laughs> testimonials yeah so this are... is a divvy site that you maybe created yourself I had a template and you know i am and you completely did do this, new yes? from a template with a lot yeah. of instruction yeah and where did you get this phoenix image ah oh, this was from um i forget the name of the website but it's uh, artists offer their work for free and you can pick it up oh, and then and then i gave the lady a donation and I oh, offered her a free wow. healing, but she didn't take me up on the healing okay, offer. Okay, <laughs> well, she probably should have if she's offering yeah, her work, artwork for free. I know, I know. She definitely it's, needed it's a healing. It's just beautiful. In fact, it's a peacock, but I think it yeah. looks like oh, a phoenix. Okay. And I love the little hearts, and it was just perfect for me. So. Okay, yeah, it looks Ooh. fine. It, you know, it doesn't shout, oh, wait, that's a peacock, not a phoenix to no. me. Mm. Um and looks like divvy it looks like your thing is off to the left for some reason sometimes that happens right you know and okay. it's like what why is this off to the left okay um, yeah. i do like divvy do you like divvy i don't have any um opinion about it i know that the i bought this site the program through um no hassle website.com or oh, something okay. no, no hassle and so she's created this template and then gives you like instruction on okay. how to fill it in okay yeah all right um uh, that but i haven't had frugal i hope because it's basically what you get when you go to divi and yeah. get their theme Yes, yeah, it was very little, yeah. cost very little, but it was more to do with the, uh, she does give incredibly good support oh, good. to help you go through it. Oh, well, well, you can ask her, why is that thing going to the left mm. on okay. the homepage? Sure. Um, okay, so then you're- But I haven't this. had anybody, and I haven't had anybody just find my website magically so i know i have to do some sort of seo optimization okay well let's talk about that and plus let's look at some other things so this is definitely sure. going to be uh responsive because it's a divi website okay. uh right so yeah. we can see oh yeah that works um I do not see you having an opt-in sequence. There is one in the template and I didn't do anything with it. I don't really know what to do with it. I just okay. thought I just need to have some sort of basic information and I can send people yeah. to Yeah, so you definitely want something that, and I'm not saying this is easy to figure out, um, necessarily like I take people through a process to figure this stuff mm -hmm. out um, but what it generally your freebie uh, is going to want to be here let me show you this um, it's gonna want to be something like step one of your program or an overview of the mm -hmm. keys to what you're offering okay um, so like um, I, I like to do step one like here's where you're this is what I always want people to do first um, mm. and then you know giving them some more background on why they want to do that 
Okay. You know, and then I have programs that take people through on kind mm. of in a group setting or on their own. And then I have private, right? So you want to consider, okay, what do I have and how can I give them something that solves their problem to a degree, um, okay. but then um, encourages them to continue? Sure. Um, offers you a way to connect with them, et cetera. Um, I mean, I, I'm so it's such early days. I don't have anything like that at the moment. All I do is work with people one yeah. to one. So that's something that you want to be considering. Okay. Um, so how to promote your site? Well, so let me say something about, so there's two different kinds of ways to promote a site. Yeah. There's, um, there's what is called direct marketing yeah and there's organic all right yeah so organic is like either they found you online or they were referred mm. right uh, and there's ways that you can encourage people to refer you you can ask them to refer you um, you can offer them like free healings if they refer you. There's there's ways that you can generate that kind of organic traffic. Okay. Uh, the second best way to get organic traffic, especially locally, would be um, Google Business Listings. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure they have that in the UK. Um, so you would want to look that up. You just could do okay. a search on Google for um, how to uh, get a Google business listing and it's free. And Google really likes uh, people to use that. Okay. And th you, that's the kind of place where you're going to want to um, advertise things that people understand what they are or are seeking. Okay. So either that would be like theta healing, which I think would be two words. Um, um, yeah, it's, it's one, it's a process. Okay, it's called uh, theta healing. Yeah, uh -huh. I thought it was two, but you know, you might want to look and see if other people have it differently. Right. Okay. So like if you do a search or a lot of people coming up, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and I don't even know if people are searching for that, if you know what I'm saying. So like yeah. you say intuitive healing, or uh, holistic healing, um, you yeah. know, so there's different kinds. So you may want to do some searches about that, but yeah. business, uh, Google business will allow you to have different categories for that. Okay. All right. Great. So, yeah. um, and then, you know, it gets, starts getting complicated after that, like looking up. And I just don't know that there's a cost effectiveness for people like you. Yeah. I think there is for dentists and doctors and people that are like specific, like heart cardiologist, Santa Rosa. Okay. Or, you know, mm whatever right that people okay. chiropractor sebastopol or whatever right that's mm. one kind of thing that people are searching but they're not necessarily searching for mm. something general or something unique that they've never heard of before and that's where we want to get more into direct marketing where you're either um you know you're building your list Okay. You're checking it twice. No, it's, it's like a Santa <laughs> thing. Christmas is over. Um, so you're building and you're, um, you know, you're doing regular trainings of some kind to groups like this. You're doing, you know, you're maybe joining giveaways and having a freebie and sending people, growing your list that way. Advertising is another way, though it's pricey. 
yeah. um, doing partnerships with people that are you know similar to you have similar client base but different offerings and okay. you know exchanges with them like oh I'll mail for you if you mail for me I mean most of this stuff works better if you do have a following and so at any time building a following is a good idea okay including steed you know before you're like sure about what you're up to and other people that are like oh i don't know if i'm even have a website uh, no i don't necessarily have a website you know and um or i don't even know what my offer is then you know it's um you know a good idea to still build a following of people that are you know aligned with you Mm, okay. okay all right thank you Hope that was helpful yes great thank you really really helpful appreciate that yeah in terms of the actual website you know i'm sure that it's fine and clear um and you know it's i think it's these kinds of marketing things that you need to get in place yeah okay thank you all right so that's it on the video, people showing up on video. Let's see what else we've got. Let me mute you. Um, all right, so let me look at my list. Um, So let's see. Interesting. People showed up who didn't submit a website, and people who did submit a website didn't show up. That is so weird. People are so strange. Michael? Well, Michael's here. Michael, you're here. All right, let me unmute you. Do you yes, have a microphone? Sure. Yay. Okay. Well, there's some times I've been reviewing your site, I believe, in the past when you weren't here. So I don't know if you ever heard those. No, I didn't. Reviews. But let's find your site. All right. So. I assume you are Michael Manning, right? There's that is me. Michael. Yes. Okay. So tell us what your goal is with your site, Michael. I would like to attract clients. Well, okay. And um, what kind of clients are you hoping to attract? Uh, coaching clients. Um, I have several modalities that I use that are kind of unique and I've been told not to lead with them, but um, I feel like I'm a very good coach and I just have trouble attracting. Marketing has been a big um, stumbling block for me for years, which is part of why I stumbled across you. Um, but I, I, you know, I want to get my name out there and attract clients. So how did you create this site? I did it myself using code, HTML code. I, oh well, years ago, I was a programmer. All right. Um, so I would suggest using something more along the lines of Divi, like what um, we were just looking at. But you know, we just were looking at the um, Phoenix site. Is Divi? Is D E V I? D I V I. D I V I. I will show you. Um, so it's a builder, and you can, you you can put the builder on your site, and it makes it so that you can actually um, build on the front end. It's a um, modular uh, system builder. So you've got um, 
boxes that you can move them around. You can take modules and save them to the library. Um, you know, you can make things grow and shrink. They're kind of showing you what you can do. You can do interesting things on your page. Um, drag and drop building. And they've got a variety of templates, like more than 100 templates um, that that you can use to lay out your stuff and automatically it's going to do things that um where did it go with you like this pink in the background makes it so you can't read your site um the the structure of it is really old-fashioned and when you're on a mobile, it squishes your head and pushes it out to the outside. So things that are probably more complex to try to fix in HTML are just automatic in something like Divi. Um, but it feels to me, Michael, like you need help with your messaging. That's probably so, true, yes. That's an earlier place where every coach says they're empowering your dreams. What you want to do is you want to um, clarify what is special about you, what's unique about you, and the results that you produce, and make it clear so that people don't have to read through your whole entire site. To, to understand what your why they would want to work with you. Okay. I'm thinking that this site is just it's just too difficult to read. It's too difficult to look at. Because of the because of the pink for the most part. But even these types of, um, you know, boxed in, so this is, you know, this is way old fashioned. Just the structure that you have. And so there's a, an aspect to it where it seems like a little bit not professional, let's just say. Okay. So it's doubtful that anyone would come to the site and be able to really read it and respond. Have you ever had responses to it? Very, very little. Yeah. Um, I'm in the process of redoing the whole thing. But, uh, yeah, I mean, at least for right now, make the background under in this area white. If you can do that with just, you know, at least do that or a lighter color. Um, you know, the things that I look at are, is it mobile friendly? Well, not really, you know, does it, do you have some list building? No, like no freebie, overview of services. People aren't able to really understand what all this means and and make a decision, it's overwhelming to them. So most of the time when I'm working with coaches, I suggest that mostly you can kind of give them an overview of what, they're, what you're about, but mostly you're trying to get them on the phone to talk with them. Not have them reading a bunch of stuff, trying to figure it out on their own, what they should do. Okay. It's, it's a typical problem that people have um, in, in your position that coaches have where they're thinking, oh, I'm going to put all of my different modalities on a different page. And then they're going to figure it out. But it really just causes overwhelm. The Divi theme you can buy for like 70 bucks a year or $250 forever. So you can try it for a year for 70 bucks, something like that. See if you like it. 
and then you can, um, or you can just, you know, go all in. It is the most popular WordPress theme now. Okay. I'll check that out. Thank you. Yeah. My thought is if you could invest in any help, it would be to invest in the branding. You know, or like your marketing. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you have any kind of budget for? Um, or is it just like you've got to do it yourself? At the moment, um, I kind of have to do it myself, but in a month or two, um, some things are about to break through, and when they do, then I'll have money to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd be happy to talk with you more about what that would in involve, but it's really um, the foundational steps that help you to distinguish yourself from other people. Otherwise, even if you have a fancy site, it's just not going to help that much unless you really know what to say to distinguish yourself and express your value. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So you know where to find me. <laughs> okay. Any, any other questions that I didn't happen to get to? Uh, no, I think that covers everything. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. All right. So let's see. Uh, huh. Let's see. This is so interesting to me. Jabra. All right. So does anyone who's here want me to review a website before I go off into the ones that were submitted where people aren't here? If so, either unmute yourself and say, hey, I want you to review my site or type something into the chat field. Otherwise, I'm going to um, go into the various other sites I have up. So why don't, if you want me to review your site, Brandy, do I have Brandy on the list? Nope. So if you have a site that you would like me to review, even though you didn't send in the form, put it into the chat field with your name, your URL, and a question. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go uh, back over these sites. I'm just gonna go into them one by one. Um, share my screen and go into these sites. So, okay, here's this one called Healing Steps, uh, Child, Family, and Individual Therapy. Um, who is this again? Here's a name. So here's a problem. We don't know what your name is. Um, I just have the site up. I know you told me your name at some point, but you've got Mr. Rogers in there. You've got Healing Steps Therapy address, and you say I, but you don't provide your name. Not even in the about page. Interesting, right? Contact me. Does it have your name on there? Yes, Nancy. Okay. Nancy, I would highly recommend you put your name on your homepage. Hi, I'm Nancy Nasser Marsh. I'm a licensed clinical social worker, and what I focus on is da 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 da. Okay, so that's one thing 
that is really critical that's not happening on your site. Let's look and see how well it's working. Okay, so it's mobile friendly and I really love the logo. Though I think the logo should be bigger on, on the main page. It's a little tiny. Um, also, in terms of messaging, Nancy here is saying, I have two specialties, da 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 da. So basically, her website is just really saying, hey, here's what I specialize. It's not identifying who her tribe is or what they're up to. Okay, so, um, you know, how you can really help them. You know, do you have such and such problem? You know, do you relate to such and such issue? Etc. Right. So we have a lot of Mr. Rogers. Now here we go. Are you struggling with your child's acting out behaviors? Do you want greater joy? That's where you start asking them if they fit in. But if you're waiting until this third page or even fifth page before you're saying that, you might have lost them. Um, adoption. So probably some of the problems are that you have several things going on here. And so you can't really address your ideal people. Um, what happens when you have too many people that you can serve is that um, they end up being, you know, not serving anyone is really what it comes down to. So, and so then like you can't really talk to them, you're not specifying them. Um, and then you don't have an opt-in sequence, so you can't grow a list and you can't really serve these people. So what you may want to do is, I would recommend coming up with a um, sort of a universal and umbrella brand that you can talk about um, up front and then provide an opt-in that says, that maybe asks them a few questions like, are you looking to adopt? Are you a parent with a troubled child? Are you going through a divorce? Are you looking for family? Are you, have, you know, you could ask some questions and then start sending them specific promotions. Okay, let me, let me make sure if anyone put in a chat. Okay, Paulette. Um, says my Aris, let's look, stop share for a second. Paulette, okay. Hey Paulette, do you have a microphone? Yes, hello. Hey. No, she, you're asking, do I only review websites that are related to healing? Well, the first one we were, it was all about art. So oh, yeah, yeah, but there's a lot of um, healing uh, sells. You have a website that sells clothes and accessories, but have not been able to make any sales on it. The website was created through the company that prints, cuts, sold, ships, and receives payment for the items, and then gives you 10%. That doesn't sound great. Mm -hmm. Thank you for taking the time to review my page. So let's take a peek, and I will share my screen. So that still doesn't sound like a great deal to me. But they they do everything, and you're just selling. Yes. And what have you been doing to sell? Uh, sending promotions to my friends on Facebook. Mostly. And how has that worked? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. It hasn't worked. Huh. And um, what had you um, decide to come and do this? I always wanted to print my photos on clothes and these people gave me the opportunity to do so. Mm -hmm. 
I think these people are based in Afghanistan and apparently certain proceeds from the sales go to providing education for girls, which I also found was very good. Help girls get education. Well, they're, they're not very inexpensive. That's right. what everybody has told me, but I don't set the price. No, I realize that. Um, that's merino wool, but it's see-through. Wow. Well, it's beautiful. Um, so what's your, what's your Facebook? Where are you um, promoting then, this? I only promote when, when this website offers discounts. So have you been promoting on Facebook, you say? Is that a personal or is that a business? Yes, personal, page? not business yet. And only on Facebook? Have you been trying Instagram or anything like that? Well, I hadn't thought of it, but that's a good idea. So this is more of, um, I mean, obviously the website is super classy, okay? Yes, yes. And it's not, it's not just me. Yeah, so, I mean, there's some things that I would say that mostly what you would want to do when you're selling something is get a following of people and post regularly, like two, three times a day. You mean, oh, you have so much stuff that you could build a great, like Instagram, for instance. Okay. And um, you could put on there 35% uh, off, use code COUNTDOWN35 and start posting these things. Yes, that's a you have access to all these photographs. You know, mm -hmm. you could post this, uh, let's say this with all, with different options, right? All right, but this one in particular is not mine. It's from some other artist. What? Oh, it's not the whole site? It's just no. only, okay, it's, I'm not, I'm not clear then. The whole site has several artists on them. Oh, so it's not, so you're an artist? Yes. These are mine. These ones oh, are Oh, these are yours. Yes, okay. Are oh, God. Okay. Well, that's worse than I thought. <laughs> I thought that you had access to all sorts of different people's products, but yeah. these are products that you designed and you're only getting 10%. Yes. That yes. just sounds terrible to me. I'm telling you. <laughs> that's terrible. I would, I would just stop. Oh, okay. All right. I just, I'm sorry. I just, I don't know what to say about that. It's just so terrible. Like, I mean, there's other, so these people, they do all that stuff, but it just seems like, oh, there's got to be a better deal than this. But meanwhile, before you just get rid of it, still, this is sort of is terrible because you're only going to get $3.50. Yes. Yeah. But they're practically doing all the work. They're printing, they're cutting, they're sewing. They are right. Shipping, they're receiving payment, and then they give me my 10 Yeah, but still. <laughs> and I what I offer are the photographs. Yeah. The photographs that are printed on the item. So I would definitely search around for other print-on-demand ah, options. That's a wonderful idea. Thank you. Because that's what it is. It's print-on-demand. Yes. And these are pretty high price and for a very low what you would get. And you're like, this is worse than network marketing almost. Yes, I know. I mean, I, I was astounded. And when you're the that. artist. The stuff is, looks beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, you could, right. meanwhile, so you know, image. build a following with these images. And you provided the, the pictures of the products or they did? Yes. I provided the photographs. And they provide the products. And that's not your tote bag? No, that's not mine, no. So that video does nothing for you? No, it doesn't, no. Yeah. So that's my problem with this company. They're doing, they're getting a lot. The, you're seeing it, I think, from, I don't think you're looking at it in the right way. Okay. Even if you did, if, if somebody was helping you, you should get like 30%. Yes. You know, uh, it seems. 
Yeah. So. Um, and then I can lower the prices and make more sales. Yeah. So that's what I would do. I would look up other companies that provide um, what's called print on demand. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. And then alternatively, um, you know, uh, develop um, some, uh, you know, do your own branding, you know, get some clear branding and, um, you know, identify what makes you different and, you know, go out there and attract a following of people that are aligned with you. But I mean, I think the artwork is really nice. So um, one way to get following is right now, just take all those images that they've got. Yes. And just start posting them and build a following. Um, have you seen, I mean, have you seen good artists on, on uh, Instagram before? Doing, have you looked? Doing what I do, not really, no. Um, you know, I don't know if we'll find anything, but... Um, Um, I mean, yes, people who paint, but who print photos on items, I haven't found. Right. Um, it's hard to see, but like, let's see. Um, here's a, a tag, print on demand. Oh. Uh, you may want to look through here and see what you feel like you relate to. Yes. Fine. And then say, okay, well, I relate to this, um, maybe this, you know, okay, yeah. well, then what has she got going on? Legal or follow it? Like, they've got 2,000 followers, and here's what they've got going on. Yeah. Right? And then you go, huh, not so much. I don't think I like that aesthetic. <laughs> uh, you know, etc. So you keep going around and seeing what people you like and yes. start following them, you know, do a search. Um, yes. uh, hopefully that's, that's helpful. Thank you. That's great advice. Thank you so much. Yeah. This person, Karen has 42,000 following followers. She's a wow. painter, right? She's figured it out. Yes. And, um, so you can kind of even look at like artists and see what they're doing and it doesn't hurt to kind of see how are they doing this? How often are they posting? Yeah. Right. This she seems like this was, this is how many she's done since just life. November. Right. Think of her everyday life as well included. Yep. She does in have a little bit. It seems to fit in though to her aesthetic, mm -hmm. you know, or as this kind of stuff. She does pastels yeah, clearly. Friday, I don't understand mm -hmm. what that has to do with it. Yep. So that's a, she's like a good example. I follow people that have like quite a lot of followers. Yeah, okay. This person is not, she's got 62,000 followers. Oh and she's not even, I mean, these are, Interesting style, mm -hmm. sort of like abstract landscapes. But that. see, they're tiny, so she yes. puts these little yes. thing next to it to show <laughs> how tiny That's they are. Convenient. And then she shows them up on the wall. Yes. Oh, how lovely! I love them. You know, um, and then each of these has some kind of call to action. I would be, I would wonder. Though this one was sold. So, does she have a call to action on these? She just does, like, here are some, uh, some tags. So you also want to look up, you know, tags. Yeah. Visual art, you know, might be something. So, you know, I didn't, I didn't myself do great on Instagram. I shared that earlier, but you know, if you have a lot to post and can, you know, you can post every day. I like this. This is the original, yes. huh? Yes. Yes. 
Yeah. yeah. That's really pretty. I love those colors. Thank you. All right. So I hope that was helpful. Yes, extremely. Thank you very much. All right. Um, print on demand artists in Etsy who would love to negotiate with you, according to Lorna. Um, Thank you, Lorna. So Lorna says they're playing on your lack of tech savvy and fear of doing it yourself. Yes, that is correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Linda Barutha at Elizabeth and Co. does reasonable coaching at a flat monthly fee, like 37. Okay. Handmade yeah. customer makers and sellers. I think she means. Oh, I'm going to write that down right now. Yeah. Thank you. Flat monthly fee with hand. So people that make stuff by hand, I think, is what Lorna is saying. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go back to the list of websites. Oops, I can't do that. I'm going to mute you, Paulette. I'm going to go back to the websites. Oops. I can't do that. Okay. Uh, I can. I can just start sharing. back to the websites. All right. So this is Passionate World Talk Radio. And the problem is I couldn't like get all of what I wanted to on one little sheet and see who it is. Um Lillian, let me look here. Lillian Caldwell, okay. And she had said that, oops, she was looking for revenue, obtain clients and sponsors. Some of these folks may want me to just call them later. Um, oh, so what I have, what I find about uh, this site is, you know, in terms of like its structure, um, like, look, this is the home page, and I don't know what it is. It just says T -t Monday, Judy Romanoff is going to be on, but we don't know what she's going to be talking about. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, this is today. So there's no text, no lead in, no dis no what is it? And that needs to happen on the home page. In fact, I don't think this fit picture is doing much help being so big, it's not that attractive. I see we see a bunch of things here but it's not really drawing me in. So I would make this banner smaller. Doesn't need to rotate like that just use one image and passionate world talk radio I would suggest having a tagline so that we know what it's about I would use one brand because you have different fonts that doesn't help keep your brand consistent put in some text what you're about and get people to subscribe to it and then you can start telling people about what what you're doing on here I think what's happening is that you're trying to build like a following yeah um, here's what you need my, my friend you need some clarity of communication you know, the website's probably structured fine. It's just that we don't know what you're about. Um, I do help people with how to communicate. If you want to connect, we'll do that. And okay. This is his new logo. Um, 
Um, I know this is a brand new site and let's see what we got here. My story. So What he's trying to do is create an online community. You know. So what I like to do with the website is, you know, really try to make it as streamlined as possible. And I know karma, you're trying to make this yourself. And this picture is really out of focus. Um, so like these membership plans you're, you're introducing before you've even said what this is about. So it's not gonna, you know, what I would do is I would write a letter to your people, start there, write a letter to your ideal customer, inviting them into your community and what it's going to benefit them to do. Um, I think this is like a free WordPress. I would use something a little more fancy like Divi and, you know, not do this. This is confusing. I just find it's boxy and the boxes are all at different sizes and stuff. But what's most important is that you can communicate with your people. So you're not here, are you? No. Okay. I'm going to go on to the next one. I realize people have a, a challenge when, the, you know, when um, you're doing stuff yourself, but I mean, sometimes it's just better to, I don't know, get some help. Okay. Now, I'm not a big fan of these pop-ups, all right? Um, I don't know if people find them to be helpful or what. Um, so this is Shelly. So this, I mean, this is a reasonable site. Um, uh, you know, there's like a, a, a theme with the, with the sunflowers and the font. That's good. Um, I don't think this is probably good to have a graphic on the home page that doesn't lead anywhere. You can't read what's in here. Google can't. And, um, so I would suggest not having this as a graphic. Now, this is telling them what you do. We'll move past the drama into peacefulness. But you haven't identified who is your tribe and what they're really um, dealing with. You know, people just aren't going around going, oh, my God, I need to transform my life. They have a specific problem that um, drama what does that look like? You know, really reveal that you know what your people are about. Let's see if I could see what Shelly said about her needs. List building. Yeah. Um, there is nothing on here about list building. So... I am going to have to call Sherry and talk with her. Oh, this looks like it might be a Divi site too. It might be. Oh no, this is Squarespace, okay. Still, you know, you might 
say Sherry Roberts in this tiny little font here, but I really think that, that you all ought to be like really identifying who you are and who you serve in your websites. You know? go to the next one. That's Michael. We already reviewed that. This one, oh, okay. This is a programmer. Um, and probably the only people that would respond to this are people who are seeking programmers and doing a search and maybe you come up. I don't find this is that attractive or easy to read or why would I want responsive website code? Who is the uh, audience? Want to learn computer or web programming? Not only you're a small business owner who wants to create a website for your business. Well, I don't know. Because I don't think that you're demonstrating here that this is such a beautiful website. Look at all the programming stuff. I, I don't know who knows this stuff. Who is looking for this? Free ebook. I think that my friend, you need to re-identify who is your ideal client and then, you know, really I speak to them and their needs. There's too many pages on here. About us and Sergey. Sergey said, "Low conversion while sign up on my reader magnet. English is second language. Okay. Learn coding. Yeah, I would identify like who wants to learn coding." And it's not a business, you know, business owner just wants a template and something easy and pretty and looks good and doesn't need programming, doesn't understand what MySQL is, doesn't know what PHP code is. So I think if you're talking to programmers, that's one thing. If you're talking to um, businesses, it's another. You can tell that as I go along, I get a little less friendly and a little more direct. <laughs> okay, here we go. Diva Business Solutions. So I believe this is a web design, logo design, printing, copywriting. There's a little bit of issue with your menu. It's not lining up right, and it's right at the top, and it's messing up your design. The design is kind of like, looks kind of like Instagram, but like you have no text on the homepage, which is not great. Uh, I would suggest that you identify who your clients are and address them on the homepage. Like, what are you, who are you serving? What are you doing with them? Let's look at the about. As the founder we work with, so that's not quite right. Fran Romeo. Is that who we got here who applied? Fran, yeah. Well, that's just like, you should say, as the founder, I work with clients, you know, it's talking first person, don't, don't confuse people by talking in the third person. Um, uh, I don't know, telling people that you spend a bunch of money. I don't think I don't think you're addressing what people really want to know. Like what are they struggling with? Why do they really need your help? What's going wrong for them? How can you make things better for them? Okay. 
Okay, so you want to like remove the top five mistakes. Yeah. I I think you could use some help with organizing the site and probably redesigning it to be more flow. All right, I'm kind of quickly going through these now. Make sure no one's chatting to me. Darlene, look, Darlene puts her name up there. Okay, she's, she's saying, join my newsletter before we've even looked at the site. So I would, I don't like those pop-ups. Um, but, you know, she's got things, she's got something, right, book? Mother, wife, physician, best-selling author, but why are we booking you? Featured in Journey became, wanted to be a doctor, see all my books, want to improve your life and career. Book. So let's look on here, Darlene. What did Darlene want as a result? Getting people to the website. Need help with marketing. Yeah, you need, it's pretty much everyone here, almost everyone, it's not identified what makes them unique and who you're serving and then really getting into it with them, like getting into a conversation with them. And this tends to be the problem with most people just um, not really engaging with your tribe. So I'll be giving her a call. Lip Trainer Guru, I was trying to figure out what this is. You use it for three minutes, four times a day. Um, and then maybe you don't need a CPAP machine. Um, I mean, that looks pretty intense. Huh. I mean, that's pretty straightforward. No, it's not mobile friendly. So this is an old site, it's not mobile friendly. Google won't send people to this site, even if it is. the only one in the world that has this. Who sent me this site? Lip trainer. I don't know which one it is. I was, so Dr. Yoshikaki. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's not the person that's doing it. Maybe it's somebody is subselling contact. The trainer guru. I'm finding this person in here. Oh, here, Darlene. Yep, I'm just not sure. Sorry about that. I'm not able to tell who this is. That's a problem, right? There's a lot of two lip. There's all this stuff that I just don't think that should be on the front end. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot here. This seems like a cool thing, but the communication is not clear. Shannon. Magical musings. It's 
So she's got an online membership and it's thousand dollars. And this is what you're leading with. That's going to be a problem. Um, Shannon, let's see what she said. Her problem was zero clients. She has a vision, but it's not happening. Yeah, this is hard to read and you're leading into jumping right into here, pay me. Um, Mary, oh yeah, I think that you need a better plan and a brand. Magical musings. She's got some of her own memes. Privacy policy. So, um, yeah, I think we are going to have to talk really more about what what your vision is. Right now, this is just it's not clearly defined. Okay. Visit Puerto Armuelle. Oh, I can't say that. Sorry, um, but we start with posts. I just don't think that's the best approach. Um, history. And then who is this about us? Find all the information. Debbie, this is Debbie. Official, yeah. And she says, or subscriber area expert I think her her challenge is mostly um, you know like an approach on the website like do you want to come want to come to Puerto Armuyes or however you say that um, I mean what how cold is it where you are right now it's 85 and you know uh, do, do you love look, I can get you a small cabin on the a starter home or, you know, whatever it is. So you're an area expert, but blog posts just, you know, aren't that engaging. I mean, maybe people can find you, um, you know, by doing searches, I'm thinking they're a good idea to have, maybe lower on the page with some kind of introduction. There's just a lot on here and it's, it's sort of like, well, why? So you need a better plan, a marketing plan. Okay, we've got Iris. I've already reviewed Iris's site many times. We're working together already. She needs a new theme. See, this doesn't work. Just even basic, get a new theme that works, you know, that's, that's gonna work on a mobile. Um, I've talked to her about this already a little bit. We're working on her messaging, but I would say she could use some of her paintings uh, way more beautifully on the site if there were a different theme. That's what I would say. First thing, get a new theme. Divi. Use your own artwork. Just use this structure and then start using the brand that we're creating to fill it in. All right, Elise, is this a real person? Lillian. Oh, that was Lillian was the talk radio person. Um, this pop-up stuff, I hate this stuff. About L. Lease, but that's not a real person. Personal journey. Maybe it is a real person, but why don't I have a lease? It was hard for me to organize all this with 20 people and not everyone put
put their name really clearly. Beauty and that's not even that's not even the website. Oh yeah, here we go. Michelle. Okay, Michelle. This is a different sorry, not attracting sales, blending both businesses. Okay. So let's look. So we've got this one, and then this is who she is, Michelle. Want a good story, a, live a good story. Though this transparent picture of you is a little, little bit trippy. Um, but like the, the structure, this is bizarre. I've never seen this, where like everything is transparent that goes over this photograph. Not sure. I can't read it. Okay. So a lot of this is about her, about, you know, Michelle, and I'm not sure what your offer is. And this one is looking good. It's like a visual brand. So let me just say something about combining brands. So combining two different offerings. Whoops, we've got Elise Marquez is a skincare and lifestyle brand. And then Michelle, she's got interesting branding. I'll say that. She's got a cool logo. Um, but I'm just not sure what it's about or how it relates to me. So what we would want to do is look at what is your purpose, Michelle? What is the unifying principle of everything that you do? And then create the unified brand for it. I hope that's helpful. I'm gonna call her to Cheryl. Walker says, st stepping up her healing practice to integrate with her art practice. So let's look. Oh, I see. Healing artist. Uh, Venice. Hand analysis. Okay. Visual artist. I see that what you're doing is is a little bit complex. Oh, they do fun stuff. We used to do this in college. Yeah, like art events. Um, what she's trying to do is a little complex. and nothing is organized well. You need to really conceptualize how people are gonna use your site and then make it easy for them. Having a million pages doesn't help. You wanna guide them. You know, like what is Windows? I don't know what it is and it's not going anywhere. So that's not helpful. Okay, hopefully I can talk to Cheryl another time. Did she give me her phone number? Yes, okay. I'll talk another time. Grab your three-day Know Your Core mini course. Know your core. What is my core? Ab routines? I'm gonna know my core? Why do I wanna know my core? Now, as soon as I move, I got capo fit moms, strong for life, okay. How do I read more? Gorgeous mama. That's a nice picture. So this should be on the homepage. Become, how to become a gorgeous mama, right? 
right? Struggles with mom, yeah. So the message isn't quite right, and the and you can't navigate around in the site. It is not functioning properly. I, I think it's just a matter of it's not organized well, but I have a feeling that you have an excellent offering. It's just that nobody knows what you're about and you're not addressing your moms. This whole big graphic doesn't help. All right. So that was it. Uh, does anyone come that wanted me to review their site that didn't? Hi, Lorna. Um, I see you on video now. Thank you for commenting on everyone's thing. Um, does anyone have any questions or thoughts for me? Or want to say something or anything along those lines? Otherwise, we can call it a day and say, hey, great to see you. I'm gonna unmute everyone. Anyone want to shout out anything that you, a question, a thought, or just a hello? I learned a lot. I really you did? Learned. Yeah. I thought Tell it was me what really you great. learned, Lorna. Um, you really helped me understand the idea of focusing in your message by ripping to shreds all, all those other people. <laughs> Am I terrible? Am I like, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm teasing you. Did you notice I started getting more rippy as we went along? <laughs> really, really no. nice beginning and then you know what you're doing and you're very targeted in your uh, critique okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> but I, I'm I'm really um, fragile ego wise <laughs> oh, no. I, was thinking, I was thinking wow I'm glad I don't have a website <laughs> <laughs> well let me just say everyone who has one here just good on you you know I mean yeah. Yeah. You've got one, you've done your best, you tried, and some of them are better than others, but, yeah. you know, you're, it does say something to get out there and just try, and yeah. nothing that I say is personal, so, um, no, really, I, I didn't think anything you said was personal, yeah, I so thought it was very Let's helpful. all be listening to our Eckhart Tolle and learn to get, to <laughs> transcend our ego, yes, um, and, um, just it's it's much easier if we don't have ego so much to actually connect with and communicate with people um, and so I, I respect anyone that's gone out there and put their stuff out there uh, even even terribly well I applaud <laughs> everyone who came on here and, and yeah, uh, so were willing I. to be the, the uh, guinea pigs and let all of us see your critique. I, yeah. I really appreciate that. I learned a lot from any mistakes and any reviews. I really did learn quite a bit. <laughs> so um, happy to talk to you privately if you feel like, hey, I really want to have you help me with my site. All you got to do is let me know and I'll reach out to you. Um, uh, just you can reply to any of my emails I'll answer um, or you can just even just schedule with me at schedulewithjulia.com and tell me what you're wanting to meet about and we'll we'll meet but right now it's like a little complicated getting into my calendar so best to probably email me and say yeah so I want to meet thank you Julia. Thanks. Thank you oh, very much. Thank you. Thank you. It was really more. helpful, really interesting. I oh, appreciate really it. Glad. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Okay. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.